on Sinaku. Hey everybody, welcome back, welcome back to Sam and Max, episode 3 of Beyond Space and Time, Night of the Raving Dead. Now the last part we left off at, we were just back up and running from dying. Uh, I'm gonna turn up the voice. A coffin that's been opened from the inside. <gasps> Wait, you mean zombies? <laughs> Zombie Abraham Lincoln, what are you doing here? I, I don't know. This doesn't look like the theater. It is not. Different about you. Hmm. You're not wearing your hat. And he's got a body, and he's not 20 feet tall, and he's just come out of a grave. This isn't our Lincoln, little buddy. I know you. Um, We're Sam and Max, freelance police. Never heard of you. How did you end up in Germany? Germany? I've never been. Apart from my family's cemetery plot just outside Stuttgart, I have absolutely no ties to Germany whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Abe, we've got a friend we'd like you to meet. She'd be perfect for you. You're a lot like her ex-boyfriend, and I've suspected for years that she's a necrophiliac. It's kismet. I'll hear no more of this. I'm a happily married... I'm a contentedly... Be I I'm a married man. How are you enjoying the play? Oh, it's terrific. But I was disappointed that Booth fellow wasn't in it. I hear he's quite the actor. And I was hoping to see you. Thank you, Zombie Abraham Lincoln, for helping us teach kids more about irony. Terrible. Terrible. I get the joke, but that's that's terrible. Okay, so watch your back. What? Why? Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your, watch your back. What happened? Where are we? You're gonna try to kill us. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Mr. President, I can't understand you. Never learned to speak, zombie. Would have been useful, in retrospect. Good night, sir. Where was I sitting? What's that one? Well, there's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. Cool. Sewer. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, 
but it's been worn down. Cool. There's a poem inscribed on this bookcase, but it's been worn down. None especially. Hmm. Parents. Desire. Pain. Blood. Abyss. So, trying to keep this on so I can remember what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. There we go. Oops. Weird. Um. Sub Zero. Pain. Blood. Razors. Abyss. Blood. Razors. Abyss. Razors. Blood. Death. Desire. Parents. Razors. Abyss. Death. Desire. Death. Blood. Desire. Parents. Torment. Desire. Sepulcher. Pain. Blood. Pain. Succubus. Pain. Blood. Razors. Abyss. Death. Blood. Pain. Succubus. Sepulcher. Letters. Misery. Sub Zero. Torment. Embrace. Pure energy. Misery. Blood. Sepulcher. Razors. Death. Desire. Embrace. Parents. Razors. Abyss. Pain. Parents. Okay, that's where we just died, right? Die! Flip paper! Excuse me. Eat bullets, John! Hey! Ow! I guess you have to be a zombie to appreciate how good Flint is at killing him. The man's a consummate professional. Alright, which one of you undead creeps is gonna tell me where you got Sam and Max? Mm. Uh.
It's what's left of zombie Abraham Lincoln's brain. Eat hot lead, walking dead! Ah, uh, no, not you guys, too. Hate to do this, fellas, but Sam and Max always said they'd rather die than become one of those... things. I don't remember ever saying that. Did you, Max? Nah, I'm pretty sure he was making that part up. Hmm. Great, they're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one. Come to Papa. Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, bolt cutters. Looks like a delicate handy. piece of high precision medical equipment. It looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal. Hmm. Nice. Alchemy for beginners. Jorgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! And Coulter, a life. Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. Okay, fun's fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. What's your beef against us? He never paid attention to me. And you're not much better. We'll force you back in if we have to. You can't make us do anything. Jurgen must be sleeping off his humiliation at the zombie club. We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Then let's put his hand in warm water. <laughs> Jurgen must be sleeping. Weird how that went silent. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Never die batteries. They're dead. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh. We mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! Ooh. It lives! Our creation lives! Happy birthday! He's almost a birthday! Ole! Well, kind of suck the horror right out of it, huh? Well, kind of. Ah, oh, nuts! The batteries are dead. Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? Um. We're from the Church of Prismatology, offering a completely free session to test your bliss level with our patented blissometers. Well, it's not very blissful in this dungeon. Leave the science to the professionals, pal. Now bend over. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. 
The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Auntie Pocto. Hey, monster, what do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. <laughs> hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope. Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am alone. You've got us! Please kill me. Jesus. Depressing. I like him. What's so bad about map? You've got us! Please. You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jürgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go, right out of the box! No assembly required! Sounds... intriguing. What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff, or are you mostly decorative? Master Jürgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us. Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Okay. So, yeah. farewell. Whew. So what you're saying is we gotta put them together now. That is not a medical... Right. Oh, definitely well, like a good case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jordan. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy. Good. Another picture. Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when oh. he was younger. Looks like a painting Abyss of Jorgen razors. in the club when he was younger. Abyss Razor's pain and parents. Expect that thing over there to open. Okay, let's see what's behind here. Why is the floor so sticky? There's not a single possible answer to that question that I like. Let's go, little buddy. Eh, Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. 
He may have been our best president, but he's a total glass jaw against lone gunmen. Wait, did he knock him out and then the brain fell out? Like, that seems excessive. On here. Oh, you're the Americans, right? Thanks for the brain, guy. Hey, Max, we can understand the zombies now. Mm, it was as good as my Nana's homemade Kimmelspanner schnitzen. I think understand is a bit extreme, Sam. Jurgen put us in some big machine, and then we ended up here. Oh, yeah, guy. You're totally dead now, okay? But we're the freelance police. We can't die. I know, eh? None of us can. It's extremely excellent. We've got to that doesn't even look human. Overthrow the hey, what? No way, boy. The zombie factory's where it's at, friend. Don't you want revenge on Jorgen for turning you into a zombie? Oh, I was already a zombie, silly guy. My company makes experimental new drugs until something goes horribly awry. Drugs to create a race of super soldiers? Male enhancement. You enjoyed the brain we gave you? Oh, yeah, it was delicious. He must have been really smart. So long. Catching you later on the flip side, zombie brother. That voices. Ooh. Wait. Can I take this off now? Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense. I embrace all kinds of vandalism. Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Yeah, let's head back home. No zombies on the TV studio. Come back here, you stupid hand. Oh, shoot. Whee! Beat it, deadbeat. It's a free country, pal. Hey, Thong, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you. Oh, that is like the black pot calling names at the kettle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals. Go away, hooligan. Uh, is that what the zombies look like, the Night of the uh, Living Zombies? Rats only. Jambi's Rick Finney. I feel that. I feel that help, Buster Blaster. Someone help! The hell? Concern it, he's too fast. Not now. Oh, great. Zombies. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Better not. <laughs> it's Jesse James's reanimated shooting hand. Surly, even in death. Mm 
Don't just groan and point. Do something! Hey! You saved me, Zombie Sam and Zombie Max. My heroes. Weren't nothing, ma'am. What? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Well, let's get the hand back. I'll take that, Mr. James. It's Stinky's Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, I think this is kind of adding up. We have Jesse James's shoes here. We have a brain. Now I'm assuming we need something. I don't know to make a heart. Oh, hey guys. Okay. Brain, hand, heart. Yeah, whatever. So I think I've narrowed it down to two guys, but I'm still not quite sure. You didn't meet any cool guys out there, did you? What are they doing? Make them stop. Better not. Better not. Nah. I can't understand you, my good man. Diction. Diction. Nah. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? No, please, I need that. No, I need that. No, I need that. Those aren't your guilt. I'm not going back in that closet. Not after all we've accomplished. Maybe I am being picky, Sam. I just don't want to keep making the same mistakes with men. I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one finalist. Mm. <laughs> Please, not the tickets. No, the fox is innocent. No, not the priceless tiki head. What do you think we're gonna do? That's the crazy part. Um, what can we do? Not happening. What are they doing? What? Hmm. Headed Sam. Back to Stuttgart. Let's go to Stuttgart.
Okay, I think we got what we need to make you a good dude. Let's see, what do we got? Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! I oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. Mm. Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. I don't expect you to understand the reasons why, of course. Shut but... up. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see him floss with that. Okay, let's just do this. Boop. Boop. It is at times like these when a monster is driven to consider his place in history. Are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings, bodies and souls? Yeah, okay, we get it. Mm. It's Jesse James's hand. Dun, 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 dun. The monster's heartless. Okay. Whee! I think that's what this is for. Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. My face is... I guess I have an ingrown hair or something. I'm just really itchy. Um, okay, I guess I really do. allowed to drive cars I don't see why not doesn't matter yeah let's okay and then we go blah 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 what's inside that counts I'm not being superficial I'm being discerning <laughs> fine make jokes but <laughs> that's all well and good but if you really want to help Help me find the perfect man. What are they doing? Uh, is there another thing to do? Right. I still need the soul. That's all well and good. But if you really want to help, help me find the perfect man. Is 
or a paper or something? Hmm. No. Strange. A freak mishap has defaced every single one of these Lincoln photos. That's all well. So maybe I Hi, should exam. Let's go to sh maybe. maybe I have an actual idea. Oh. Get our souls back and make this man. No. Oh. Okay. Hi, gruesome. Let's go introduce you to our friend. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as. Yeah, trust that. All this. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Yeah. Listen, brothers. Can you not? I agree, some. Let's go meet. It's a frightfully long drive, isn't it? Are you sure you want to go now? Let's yes, go. let's go right now. Quickly, before Sam gets distracted and. Oh, more switches! Well, I never travel without my belongings. Just throw them in the trunk already. We're wasting daylight. <laughs> Thanks for coming, gentlemen. I know it's difficult for you to travel, having go. to carry all your stuff with you. I'm used to it. Well, until I figure out how the Soul Mater works, I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll ask each of you three lucky bachelors a series of questions. Based on your answers, I'll decide which one of you advances to the final round of being my boyfriend. Ah, zombies! I knew it! Then come for the knickknacks! Harry, please. I'll have to ask you to leave if you don't learn to show some tolerance. They're going to break everything and eat my brain. Nonsense. <laughs> Sam and Max have just as much right to be here as anyone alive. Hmm, which question should I ask first? Who's your favorite of the eligible bachelors? Oh, Sam, that's like asking me to choose my favorite horribly vivid nightmare. <laughs> oh, good call, Sam. I'll ask this one. Bachelor number one. The only thing I liked about my last boyfriend was that he had a way with words. He always just knew the right thing to say. What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Would we be lounging by a fireplace? Because uh, I don't like fire. I'll make a note of that. And Bachelor number two? I would quote from my award-winning one-act play, The Cloaca Monologues, to wit. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Bachelor number three, your answer? What would you say to me in a romantic moment? Hmm. Most romantic thing to say. Keep Whee! your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! What? I expected better from you, Harry. But I wasn't talking about you! The, the, the zombies! Your anti-zombie talk isn't making <laughs> things any better. I think you'd better go.
Thank you for filling in on such short notice, Agent Superball, was it? My pleasure. You're looking radiant. Agent Superball, eh? Sweet. Let's head back to... Please, don't make me get back into the trunk. Yeah, I... It's okay, man. We're gonna do something great for you in a minute. And then it's gonna be wonderful. We can make you have a heart of gold, my friend. The machine's out of power. No. Ah. I can't just stick it anywhere. There's no power from the back. And dangerous. The best kind of neat. I bet that gave it enough juice. Good chocolate. But it's perfect for our friend here. He's Oop. the only one here with a heart. Give Edible. me my checkbook quick. I need to give to charity. We did it. The man has a heart of gold. I agree with the brain of Abraham Lincoln and Jesse James is Let's go to Sybil's again. It seems we just got here. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bachelor number one. I'm looking for a man with a heart of gold. How would you prove you've got one? What's that? I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted. See, I used your restroom earlier, and I'm worried I might not have remembered to leave the seat down. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. I think I've heard enough. <laughs> All right. Bachelor number one. I'm still looking for a man who's good with his hands. How good are you with yours? What are you doing? It's the only way I know how to express my feelings, ma'am. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my! <laughs> okay, uh. bachelor number one. My last boyfriend always knew the right thing. Sweet things would you say to me during a romantic moment? Well, it is altogether fitting and proper that I answer your question. But in a larger sense, our love would be so pure, so harmonious, so rapturous, that my mere words could do little to add or detract. Miss Pandemic? Marry me? Oh, I mean, yes, Bachelor One. That's perfectly adequate. <clears throat> well, I think the choice is clear. Bachelor number one. Would you like to go steady? At last, I feel complete. Preposterous. Please, no cameras. I need a moment. After years of searching, I finally found the perfect man. What? Oh, of course you're right, Max. This has all been a lie. In my heart, I've always known who my true soulmate is. I just never wanted to admit it. What? I've been so stubborn and foolish. I only hope he'll take me back. Thanks a lot, jerks. I suppose the weekend in Cabo San Lucas is out of the question as well. 
His position didn't actually change. He just went like this. <laughs> oh, I love that. That is the funniest. Okay, take that silver. I guess Sybil won't be needing this anymore. Can we see what's going on here? <gasps> They're already gone. Where are we headed, Sam? To Stuttgart. Watch for Stuttgart. We gotta get our souls back and defeat Jorgen. Jorgen. Yeah, my spine. Works, Sam. There must be a button or a switch. The hell? What gives? Oh, got him. I guess there's no switch. I wouldn't say that. Did everybody get tall and chubby all of a sudden? Hey, give my stuff back. Ah, so there's where you keep your gun. Max, you keep returning when you know you cannot defeat me. That's Max and Sam. No matter. I will take your souls once again, but this time your bodies will be obliterated. What? Obliterated. You know, cut off your heads, set them on fire, salt the earth. My blood to have this. What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna regret you ever tangled with me and Max. I mean Sam. As your Americans say. No. -uh. Uh... Oh, please, too slow. I wish he'd just go back to bed. I bet those candy ass vampire hunters just didn't know how to do it right. Mm. It's Jurgen's soul sucking machine. It's Jurgen's soul sucking machine. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey, monster, think fast. Hmm. Boring. This is a step up, at least. It's too crowded in here! Oh, no. Two souls in one body.
<laughs> oh shit, wait. What's up, Flint? You know, I've been tailing that Bosco mug, right? Well, the trail's gone colder than a Dear John letter written on No Tell Motel stationery. Bosco's just wild and easily starving. We'll help you dig him up. That's the rub, see? Bosco's vanished off the face of the earth. What? Bosco, no! Oh, snap. And here we are at the end of Night of the Raving Dead. I wonder, can we skip? No? Do you guys want to see the preview for the next episode? I'll leave it so we can. We'll get a nice. Oh, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Um, give me a moment. I'll be right back. I'm just going to quickly take a run to the washroom.
Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the President of the United States.